In a circuit, a metal filament lamp is connected in series with a capacitor of capacitor C microfarad across a 200 volt 50 hertz supply. The power consumed by the lamp is 500 watt while the voltage drop across it is 100 volt. Assume there is no inductive load in the circuit. Assume there is no inductive load in the circuit. Take RMS values of the voltages. The magnitude of the phase angle between the current and the supply voltage is phi. Assume pi root 3 is equal to phi. So, we have to take C value and phi value. What is the value? There is a metal filament lamp is connected in series with the capacitor. Now, assume let us say the metal filament lamp is represented by register because they have given inductive load is equal to 0. No inductive load. So, let us say this is an inductor, a register having value R, capacitor having value C is connected across a AC source, AC source of supply how much? 200 volt and 50 hertz, right? And uh, it is given that the power consumed by the lamp is 500, means power across the register is equal to 500 watt and the voltage drop across register is voltage drop across register is 100 volt. Now it is asked to find value of C and phi. Okay. Now see from this data that is power and register, we can find current flowing through the register and that that current is flowing through the capacitor as well as uh, voltage source. So we can write I power is equal to voltage into current. So power is given as 500 voltage is equal to 100 into current. So current is equal to 5 ampere. So current flowing through the circuit is 5 ampere. Now next is see we know the value of EMF 200 volt. We know the voltage across register. We can find the voltage across capacitor. Let's say voltage across capacitor E C. So we know E square is equal to E R square plus E C square. So E C square is equal to E is 200 square minus 100 square. So 200 square will be for 220 square will be 400. This will be and this will be Okay, 40,000 minus 10,000 which is equal to 30,000 EC square. So EC is equal to, this will be under root of 30,000. Now we can take 100 as a com, out of square root. So 100 root 3 will be the value of EC. Right. Now next one is, okay, it is asked to find the value of C. Now, now we know the voltage across capacitor we know the current flowing through the capacitor we can use relation voltage is equal to current into a position that is a position is xc xc is equal to 1 by omega c so ec is equal to 100 root 3 current is equal to 5 xc is 1 by omega c so 2 pi into f is 50 into c so this and this will cancel out so c is equal to 1 by 5 into 2 is 10 10 into, mm, 10 into 100 is 1000, so 1000 root 3 pi. Now in the question itself it is given that phi consider phi root 3 as 5. So 5, no, root 3 phi, root 3 phi as 5. So this 1000 into 5 it will be 5000, right? Wait, wait, I think, achha, uh, I think we committed one mistake here. Wait, this is 100. This is um, 2 into, uh, this is 10, 20. So this will be 2000, uh, not 1000, 2000, right? So 2000 into 5 will be 10,000 means 10 to the power 4. So value of C is equal to 10 to the power minus 4. So this is the answer, 10 to the power, uh, in microfarad, na? so we can write it is equal to C is equal to 100 into 10 to the power minus 6. So 100 microfarad, so value of C is 100, right? Now next is the value of phase angle is. Now we know the formula for phase angle that is tan phi is equal to voltage across capacitor by voltage across resistor. Voltage across capacitor is 100 root 3, voltage across resistor is 100, 100, 100 cancel out. Tan phi is equal to root 3, so the value of phi is equal to how much? 60 degree, so answer is 60. So the value of C is 100 and the value of phi is 60, right?